Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 31 in chapter 5. In this system, we can see we have two objects A and B. A is on the top, B is at the bottom. And then they have different mass. And also, we know the coefficient of static friction and the kinetic coefficient at all the surfaces. So that means the surface between A and B and B and the table has it. We need to consider the friction, right? So first one, I'll ask you what is the minimum value needed to move the two objects and then increase the force by 10% ask you find the acceleration. So in this one, we need to do the force analysis. So first one, we look at object A. We must have gravity, the normal force to support A and also the tension and the friction, right? So there, how can you decide the friction for this one? Because you can see, we can first look at the object A and B as a unit, united one. And for united one, we have a force F act on it and make it moves forward. Do you agree? Make it forward and then we, because this cable is has a force act on A, so there is FD. So that means there must be a force forward to balance this tension. So we consider the friction is forward, this one. And then we look at the object B. We must have gravity, normal force. And also remember there, because we see B act a force on A to support it. That is a normal force for A, right? So there must be the A act a force on B to press it. So this is a negative F. Normal force. So this uh, is a pair of forces with the equal magnitude but outside directions. Do you agree? And also there is a force F acting to make it move forward. And then we have the friction between the table and the B. And also the friction between A and the B to the backward. So this force and this force equals in magnitude but outside in directions. Do you agree? And also the tension from the cable. So now we can write equations by considering Newton's second law. So for object A, we have the normal force minus gravity equals zero. And then the friction, and this one we can get the normal force just equal to the gravity because there is no motion on the y component. And then we look at the horizontal component, we have the friction minus the tension equals the mass times acceleration, this one, right? Then we look at the object B. For object B, we have the Y component, the normal force minus gravity minus this FNA equals the zero. And then look at the X component, we have the uh, this F minus the tension minus the friction FB and minus the friction AB equals the mass times acceleration. So now we write all the equations. Now we need to look at the friction. So it asks you to find what is the minimum values of F needed to move the two blocks. So the minimum values for force to move it, that means in this case, the friction just at the maximum of the static friction. Do you agree? Yes. So the the maximum of the static friction is just the coefficient of the static friction coefficient times the normal force. So for the friction between A and B is a mu s times F and B is mu s m a g, right? And then the friction between the table and the B is just the mu s times F and B is mu s times m a plus m b. In this, now you can see you have one, two, oh, one, two, one, two, four equations. And then you can find this F. It's easy. And then the next one asks you to if the force is 10% greater. So this F becomes 10% greater. Ask you to find acceleration. Similarly, because the F increased, so now the object start to move. In this case, we need to consider the friction as the kinetic friction. So we times the kinetic friction coefficient, mu k, times the normal force right there. And then the friction between the Table and its object B is a, a kinetic friction coefficient mu k times the normal force there, and then we can find its acceleration. Now, for more details, we can look at it there. So, similarly, this one, this is a full equation we write. So, first thing we write is a friction for A. 
between A and B is mu s times the normal force, and the friction between B and table is the mu s times n b. Then you solve this equation, and you can find the force just equals mu s times the three m a plus m b g. In this one, you get the final answer. The second one, you can say we just change the friction to mu k m a g, and the second one is mu k. So we just change the coefficient for mu k, and then the force just becomes 10 percent larger. So this force increased, and then you solve this equation, you can find the acceleration. Thank you.